All right, we are going to try one more. We're going to try couscous or couscous. I don't know how that's pronounced. So let's see where we're at here. Enter the password to continue. Password is must between eight and 16 characters. We have the test password valid function again. Then we test R15 again. So this is very similar to stuff we did a little, little bit ago. Oh, oh, oh. Forgot to start that clock. And we're going to add 8 to our stack pointer, which actually is going to put our stack pointer. Six, seven, eight. It's actually going to put our stack pointer right where, right before where we're at. I wonder if this is going to be some kind of stack uh, overflow kind of situation where we need to actually trick the stack pointer into hitting the code we want. Yeah. Pop R4. I just thought of something I hadn't thought of at all. Since we can put input direct hex code. Like when we have these buffer overflows, they, this one doesn't accept the long passwords anymore, does it? This one's fixed the long password overflow. Yeah. Just thinking about actually sending like NOP commands or something or jump directly to the memory location where we know the success is. Um, so let's see, we're adding eight to the stack pointer. I would love to add 10 to the stack pointer and just have it execute whatever I give it. <laughs> Hey. Look, look, look at this though. Something about address unaligned came out. What did you put in? You put in a hex for a jump? I put, I put, I put in a hex, but I overflowed it. Yeah. They said we can only make do between, this one I believe said we, they fixed the bug, right? The password link bug? Yeah. But did they fix it for hex directly? I don't think so because it let me put it in and it it gave it I did something to an address. I screwed something up. So like if, what happens if you try to put on too long a password here? Just wanna see what happens. Yeah, it's, I don't think they fixed the overflow. <laughs> so let's see, you can see right here, password, password, password. So if the, if we can ever see that, bit if right that's, there. Okay. Just, look dude, the stack, the stack pointer is in my freaking, is in my password stuff. So we just have to, if we change the, whatever character this is, it's going to be, here, let me, okay, I just got to think for a second, because we're right there. We just, we just got to put hex codes to do something in there. So we need to look for where R4 is pointing and overflow to that. We should, we could just call op unlock door do a call directly to unlock door and just be freaking done. You know what I mean? You think it'll execute it? I think so because when I just did that, it just does that one test and then it calls something. So let's walk through that one. Let's do that one more time. Uh, let's figure out what character position this is that's about to get executed. Um, let's reset it and I'll just show you this. <clears throat> Um, continue. Wait, what just happened? 
jumped back you jumped back into your IO tr input triggered. That's cool. <laughs> so that's where you jumped when you overflowed it. I didn't even think I oh did I I didn't shouldn't have even overflowed it right there, should I? I don't know what just happened there. So my stack pointer's here. Um Oh yeah, I was going to Where did I have my brakes set up when I did this before? Ooh. Oh shit, it's 548. I'm supposed to be there at 6.